Hello and welcome to BharatShakti dot in. I am Brigadier Chatterjee. We are going to be talking about Ukraine. We are going to be talking about. I am afraid it's a change and it's going to be naval operations that Ukraine and the Russians have been involved in. And we are going to be talking about what is the result today on ground in Europe uh, as far as these naval operations are concerned. How is it that the grain trade has again started, but this time via another ocean route? Right. Uh, if you haven't. subscribe to us already please press the bell icon well let me go ahead with the story and let me start the story a little early let's talk about the russian invasion of crimea and that was way back in 2014 during that invasion or annexation let's call it by the russians of crimea uh, well most of the ukrainian navy had been captured i think it was over 80 odd ships that were captured and about 35 of these ships were returned back to ukraine after the hostilities had let's say terminated well that was a situation way back in 2014 the situation in 2022 is quite different it took off on a different note altogether the first attack that was launched by the russians was on the snake island in the snake island one particular russian uh, vessel Uh, which took part was Moscow. So, please remember this name. I'll refer to it again. And Moscow was giving the air defense cover to this particular operation, and Snake Island was ultimately won by uh, the Russians. Well, going ahead with the story, it's just about a day back that we've got reports from Ukraine that they have been able to sink another landing ship of the Russians in the uh, Black Sea. Uh, it's that was part of the Black Sea fleet of. the russians when well, uh, going back again a little bit more when the war started and that was way back in march uh, way back in 22 uh, well between march and may 22 a couple of major russian vessels were destroyed and the most prominent one amongst them is that vessel that i talked about moscow moscow was the uh, main vessel of the russian uh, fleet there and it is also the it was also the flagship of the russian black sea fleet so it was a huge loss of prestige for russians initially it was damaged and thereafter with there were reports that it sunk ukrainians have also lost a large number of uh, vehicles but well that does not the uh, really focus today the focus is more on the russian navy and ukrainians have been able to inflict casualties on the russian naval ships from time to time all in the black sea and also in the mediterranean according to some estimates the black sea fleet of about 80 ships is down by about 50 odd ships already about 25 ships have reportedly been sunk and at least 15 or more than that are under major repairs so that's the state of affairs in the bargain the route for export of grain by sea which is closed by the russians as far as the mediterranean route is concerned is now open through black sea and the grains reaching the rest of europe and that's a big sigh of relief for europe thank you viewers do press the bell icon and subscribe to our channel thank you